Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually in the garage. I'm starting to get a little bit more room in here so I can actually do things. Uh, today I actually wanted to talk about something as a new rider that I never really gave too much thought about it. Uh, but recently I actually got a little interested into it, which I'll get to in a second. But today I want to talk about inverted forks. Let's get into it. So when I first started looking into getting um, a motorcycle and my motorcycle license, I would go on and watch a bunch of different videos on what would be the best beginner motorcycle. I know, I didn't get a beginner motorcycle, but whatever. Um, and they would always go over the, all the different features of the bike. Uh, and one thing I kept hearing about was had inverted forks. Yeah, whatever. Never really cared about it. it. It didn't really make sense to me. I mean, I know what inverted means. It just it means it's opposite of the way it was, right? So it would be upside down or whatever they would call it, right? Um, so I went on that. No problem. You know, once I got uh, my motorcycle and everything, they kept talking about uh, inverted forks. Or sorry, I started watching other videos when they would talk about in inverted forks, about being a lot better for corner cornering and everything. And again, I, I was like, you know, great. They're they're better. You know, no big deal. I've got a Harley Davidson. I'm not worried about that kind of stuff, right? However, I was actually went on to motorcycling.com and I was wanted to look up a review on my bike because, you know, I already had the bike and everything, but I wanted to see what they actually said about it. Well, lo and behold, what I found out is this thing actually has inverted forks. So, me being the beginner that I am, I didn't realize that was an inverted fork. I just assumed that was how front suspension on motorcycles was. Inverted one would be the opposite of that. So I had to actually look into it to find out why, what makes them so much better as it's on my Harley Davidson. It is a sport, a sport glide, obviously. Um, so maybe that's why they put it on there, but not all soft tails have them. From what I understand, it was the sport glide, um, the low rider S and the FX DR or whatever. Um, there could be more, but I, I don't know. So anyways, I want to look into it myself to figure out why inverted forks were actually better than your standard. So when I went looking into this, there wasn't actually too many videos on this. There are a couple of articles. Um, but anyways, there seems to be four main reasons of why inverted forks are better than your standard uh, motorcycle front suspension. The first one is having it inverted increases the rigidity of the inverted forks. The larger diameter tubes at the top and the smaller diameter tubes at the bottom create a stiffer and more stable front end which can provide better handling. Now the second reason why it's supposed to be better is it has less sprung weight. So this ties into the first one as well. So this means less weight is moving up and down with the suspension resulting in better handling, improved suspension response and better traction. Now the third reason what makes them better is the fact that it's bigger tubes, which helps with heat dissipation. So that helps uh, the longevity of your, your suspension. Um, it's supposed to be good for people that are in hot weather or doing long distance. Uh, these will last longer. And the fourth and probably the most important <laughs> reason for most of us, especially Harley riders, uh, the fourth reason what makes it better is aesthetics. Um, they look better apparently, but I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, now they do look great. Like I said, I never even realized these were uh, uh, inverted forks. Um, I just assume this is how all motorcycles are. Uh, but now having seen this, I do understand they do actually look better inverted forks. Um, so. Again, as a Harley rider, I mean, that's what you go for as, as the look of the bike, right? You're not worried about performance anyways. Um, so I did find a, a video on this and I'll link it down down in the description of uh, motorcycling.com and it was Airy Hunting uh, did one on inverted forks. And he said, and I'll see if I can clip the uh, video in here, is it for average riders, you'll never notice the difference between inverted forks and standard forks um, unless you're on a track day. Do you think you're gonna feel the difference? Hell no. Maybe on the track, but not on the street. So, a lot of you guys are like us Harley Raiders and you're getting it for the aesthetics, not because it's the, you're gonna notice the actual uh, benefit to it. But anyways, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the inverted forks? Uh, do you notice a difference having ridden one without one or two one, or one with or one without? 
I don't know. I've only ridden these ones. Uh, the other motorcycles I've ridden, I think they've all had inverted forks. So, so I had test ridden uh, uh, a Pan America and a Sportster S and a Nightster. Um, Sportster S has the inverted forks, and same with the Pan America. The Nightster didn't. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between any of those. Um, I just know they were a lot lighter than my bike and it was a lot easier to flick it around and, and do whatever I wanted with the bike. Um, but that would have more to do with the weight on the bike rather than uh, that I would notice with the French suspension. I'm not one to know. Um, I just thought it was interesting and I, I always wondered why people said it was better. And apparently those are the four reasons what makes them better. Anyways, until next time, later.